All right. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Brian Lawford, and I'm the vice president here at QuoteWorks. I've been a member of the QuoteWorks community for over 20 years. And in this webinar, we'll be talking about offering affordable options to your customers to close more deals. One of the ways that you can accomplish this is to offer leasing on your quotes. And Justin from Great America will be speaking about this. After Justin introduces you to the benefits of leasing, we'll see how easy it is to offer different payment options on your quotes in QuoteWorks. This can be via credit card, ACH, and of course, leasing. This will be a live demo using QuoteWorks Desktop, QuoteWorks Web, and Quote Valet. After our presentations, we'll open the webinar to questions. And this is not to say that you shouldn't be asking questions throughout the webinar, however. If you have a question, feel, feel free to ask on the GoToWebinar panel. And if it is an appropriate time, we'll answer it then or at the end of the webinar. Let me answer the most common question that I normally get during the webinars first. Yes, we do plan on recording the webinar and it will be available on the QuoteWorks YouTube channel early next week, assuming GoToWebinar cooperates. And with that, Justin, I'll make you the presenter here. Justin, you should have the ball. All right. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate the opportunity to be here with you and our viewers chat about uh, you know, Great America, but more importantly, how we can help you all close more deals, especially since you can just utilize the amazing tool that you're already in every day. <laughs> so a little bit here for or about Great America, um, a little background for you know why we got to where we are. And we at Great America have always felt that we were pretty innovative. And in the early 2010s, the financing space began to, began to change. Uh, digitally native financing providers entered the space and they began revolutionizing how lending was done. By that time, we had grown pretty large. And while we've always been successful, change, especially for a bigger growing organization, can be difficult. Um, but one of the nice things here, and hopefully one of the takeaways, is this could be the same position that your clients are in, especially in other established large organizations. And I won't go through what we got on the slide here. I'll let you read that. But um, before we did dive into QuoteWorks, and Brian gave you guys a tour of how it all works, uh, we just wanted to chat with you guys and show how truly easy it is to offer a monthly payment on, on your quotes. And we'll spend a few minutes discussing the benefits of why you would want to do that. So increased standardization is one of the big ones here with you know, your techs working in their day-to-day. -day, it's obviously going to be easier for them to manage the environment and all of your clients if they're used to the tools and the hardware software that they're using. Uh, predictable refresh cycles with Great America and especially with a monthly payment, you're able to <clears throat> know when a term is going to be coming up and you're able to reach back out ahead of time. We can get them on another cycle and you can stay sticky with them. But one of the nice things with financing is that you'll be able to justify the ROI easier. You can explain all the different ways they can preserve their cash and invest in growth activities such as marketing and hiring employees. And by providing a monthly payment, it may help you three years down the road when you are trying to have that refresh conversation for the refresh cycle. Um, you may see larger transaction sizes as well. So, you know, there's typically less conversations about cost when a monthly payment is involved. And when a monthly payment's presented versus a larger sticker price, then that's a more manageable solution for them. And case in point, when we look at today's environment, almost everything is offered in a monthly payment now. Um, I don't know that you can shoot even Amazon and whatnot is offering. Um, different segmented payments instead of making you pay outright. But that will inherently help you to uh, shorten your sales cycle. And then uh, finally, when thinking about your techs who are servicing this equipment, we can align that finance term with your warranty length. So your team isn't stuck fixing or worrying about outdated equipment and 
it'll make the lives of everyone at the organization a lot easier. All right, Brian. Okay. We uh, Should we take a peek and see how easy it is for them? <laughs> Definitely. All right. Thank you for that introduction there uh, into Great America and why uh, leasing is helpful. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and share my screen here. All right. So um, with that, uh, everybody's familiar with QuiltWorks desktop here. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is we'll start here and see how it is in QuiltWorks desktop, go into some of the setup um, with how to make it work with Great America. And then we'll go ahead and see how that workflow changes when we go to QuiltWorks web. And it's gonna, as you can see, it's gonna be very similar. So the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, like you would normally do with any quote, we're gonna go ahead and select who we're gonna be selling it to. And this time we're gonna be uh, quoting Thor here and we'll go ahead and bring him in. And we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and quote him his products. We're gonna do a very simple quote here. So I'll go to my products here and we'll select some items here from Edelize. Uh, we'll go to workstations and maybe they want five more workstations. So we'll go ahead and get our, uh, our real time here. And we'll go ahead and select tech data, double click here, and maybe they need 10 more workstations. So we'll go ahead and add that to the quote. And uh, of course, they're gonna need like mouse and keyboard options. We'll just go ahead and add the keyboard here real quick. Very simple keyboard. And we'll get that and go with 10. All right, so we've got a very simple quote. Uh, it's for $31,000. Uh, what I'll do now is we'll go ahead and save it real quick. And first thing we're gonna do is go to the sale info tab. And what you'll notice here on the sale info tab is that I've got different payment options that I've got selected already. And we'll talk about this in just a moment, but we've got our credit card option as well as our ACH option. And you're able to offer different discounts or leave it the same amount depending on which uh, payment option your, your customer selects. Um, and so from here, what we can do is we can add one more payment option here. And this time it's gonna be a lease and we'll go ahead and click on that. And QuoteWorks has the ability to interact uh, with Great America in real time. So as your rate cards change, uh, your, uh, your rate cards will automatically get updated in QuoteWorks because we're talking in real time to Great America. Uh, so all I need to do now is select which rate card I want. Um, and then from here, we'll go ahead and select what terms and points we want. Uh, maybe we want to offer a 36 month, um, a 48 and maybe a 60 uh, with one payment option and we'll do the $1 lease option. So we'll go ahead and click on get lease payments here. And you can see here's the different options that we can offer our customer. So maybe we'll go ahead and select all three of those and I'll go ahead and do select options. Actually, before we do this, um, Justin, uh, would you like to explain a little bit about what these different options mean? Because I, I know uh, sometimes, especially with our new employees, when they start, they're like, I have no idea what this means. <laughs> would you be able to kind of enlighten us a little bit here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, well, real quick, when you were adding those, or you had the three options down there, I always uh, have, a fun little quip about hitting the Tetris icon above the check, uh, check boxes there, and it selects all of them. Yep. I don't know what that's actually called. Select all. <laughs> I like Tetris better. Okay. Um, but yeah, while we're looking on this screen, so on the top right where the include sales tax and lease amount, that is something that we actually probably wouldn't have checked on the majority of deals, but that's something that your sales rep would discuss with you if it is something that we would need to do. And then the add monthly recurring to lease payment allows you to um, add in whatever monthly recurring charges you may have, banded services or whatever that may be in with the finance amount. So then just a single monthly payment is offered to your customer. And then points or additional margin. So a lot of 
um, our customers will just leave that at zero. You know, they add their points in with the hardware as typical margin. But if you wanted to add points, so two points would add 2% on top. It obviously does raise what the monthly payment would be to your customer. But depending on your competitive environment, that is a viable option. And then term option is um, pretty standard lengths as far as months go. And purchase options, dollar lease and FMV lease are a little bit different in the sense that a dollar lease is essentially going to run for the term. And then once that's done, you know, the customer pays that final amount and then they own the equipment. Whereas with the FMV lease, the monthly payment's going to be a little bit less. And then at the end of the term, they would have to pay uh, 15% uh, FMV fair market value. And then they would pay the 15% at the end, and then they would get to own the equipment. One of the nice things about that FMV lease, especially with a slightly lower monthly payment, is that you would be able to, um, as the term is coming to a close, we could bring it back the refresh cycle, we could bring that back, get them on a brand new, say 36 month, and we can try to keep the monthly payment as close to what they're already paying. And so they may not even realize that you know, anything as new is happening, but they're getting new equipment and they're happy, you guys are happy, your techs are happy. And then finally, advanced payment. That one is, um, I'll be honest, most of that is to um, align our payment cycles. Zero is the most common uh, payment option, advanced payment option. And the main reason for that is if we offer one advance payment, then uh, the customer is going to have to pay the first month up front. And you would be responsible for collecting that and then getting that money back to Great America. So it's a little bit extra work on your behalf. Plus the benefit with um, going a financing route is you actually don't have to do a down payment. Okay, great. Appreciate well, you yeah. letting me chat through those. Definitely. Thank you for uh, explaining that to everybody. I know um, I'll, I'll actually use that for my employees when they, they start with us. So <laughs> thank you. All right. Perfect. What we'll do now is we'll go ahead and select this to our quote. And you'll notice that now we, in addition to the credit card option, the ACH option, but now we have these three different lease options as well. Um, and what we can do too is uh, when we're ready to move forward, we can actually submit the credit application right through QuoteWorks as well. So what we'll do is we'll save this one more time here and let's go ahead and see what the customer would see. So what we'll do is go to deliver, select whichever layout that we want and let's go ahead and preview this first. So this is going to be if it were a PDF that you were gonna to email to the customer. So you'll notice that we have the main quote that has like the, uh, the, item, it's the items that you're gonna be selling. Uh, what the subtotal is, what the deposit amount would be required if they were paying up front, and then we have our different payment options in here. And you'll notice that we have the credit card, the ACH, and then the, the three different lease options. And the text that we have here for the lease options, this can be customized to, to basically be in any layout that you want. You can include as much or as little as you want in that as well, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. So uh, that's what it would look like if you were to email the, the quote to the customer in a PDF. But where this really comes into play is when you're going to deliver it via Quote Valet. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this to Quote Valet right now. And then uh, what we'll do is click on Upload here. And then we'll go ahead and preview it. Um, and then you'll notice that we have our two items and then we've got our different payment options here and the customer can then interactively select which payment that option that they want to select. Uh, so from here, uh, if they wanted to move forward with it, uh, they'd go ahead and agree. You know, we'll go ahead and put a PO number um, and they'd put in a name and their signature and they can then accept. We'll just wait for that to go through. And while that happens, the customer is going to get notified that they've accepted the quote um, and those lease options will be on there. And for some reason, that's taking a little bit longer than normal. 
that's probably because of the email address that I've got on there because it's kind of fibbing it a little bit. Uh, so now if we go back over to Quote Valet, click on OK, we've got a little check. It's been selected so, and, uh, and it's accepted. Uh, that's how easy it is to deliver a lease option to your customer. And the setup for this is actually really simple. All you need to do is, uh, just like you normally would for any other real-time, you're gonna go to your tools options. You'll go to real-time, real-time setup. And under leasing here, we've got our information right there. And that's how easy it is to get everything set up. And then on the actual quote, it, it, in the options itself, what you'll do is you'll go over to leasing here. You'll select what your provider is. Um, in this case, I'm using Great America real time. Uh, but if you're not working with Great America for some reason, you do have the ability to put in whatever rate card you want. Um, and we've got documentation on that. But the great thing is with Great America, it's all real time and you're able to submit your credit applications all through QuoteWorks as well. So it's the only integration that really has that capability. And then also down below here, this is where I was talking about where you can set your different uh, lease option uh, macros or what it's going to display on the quote to the customer. We've got different macro amounts, uh, diff uh, different macros in here with like the lease amount, the number of months, the purchase option. So you can display as much or a little, as little of that information as you want to the customer. All right. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and see it in QuoteWorks Web. Um, it's going to be very similar. I'm already logged in to QuoteWorks here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new quote here. And we're going to go ahead and walk through the same process that we just did. That way you can see how easy it is in web. So first thing, uh, just like we normally do, we're going to go ahead and bring in a contact. And we've got uh, Thor's hammers here. We'll go ahead and click on all. Go back to our workbook. Everything's all filled out for us. So now what we'll do is go to products. Just like we did before, we'll go to my favorites and Eli's. Um, and we'll go to workstations, which is already defaulting to here. And we'll go ahead and select our workstation. We're going to go ahead and get real time here. And we'll go ahead and select tech data. This time, maybe we only want five workstations. And click on add. You'll notice that we have all the same functionality that we normally have in desktop. Click on add there. And then we'll go to our keyboard options. And we'll select this guy here. And we'll go ahead and select from DNH. And we'll select a quantity of five again. And if we go to our workbook, we've got those items there. And if we go over to our sale info tab, just like we did before, we'll go ahead and click on add lease options. And maybe this time we want to make a little bit of money on that. And we'll go ahead and do our different terms. And you, as you saw in the setup, you can default to whichever options that you want. Um, in this case, um, I'm having myself selected every time. And uh, as Justin said, we'll go ahead and click on the little Tetris button and then uh, click on add. And then we have our different lease options. Maybe this time we want to default to the lease, however. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll save it. And click on OK. And we'll go ahead and deliver it. And you're gonna we'll go keep ahead. using Tetris, aren't you? I am. That that's a that's a new one. I like it. And we'll preview that. And as you can see, just like we did through desktop, now we've got it in web. Um, and uh, now we're defaulting to the lease amount. 
So it, it's very simple to include leasing uh, on your quotes. And you can see, you know, you can either offer the $11,000 or $12,000 up front or the 494 lease or even less than that to the customer. And in this day and age, um, you know, offering that option may be the difference between you winning or losing the deal. Uh, so uh, that's, that's what I wanted to show here as far as how to add those different lease options on the quote. Um, I think we gave you a good introduction to uh, Great America. And at this point, uh, Justin, is there anything else that you want to add before we open everything up to questions? No, I don't think so. Okay, great. Um, so uh, at this point, we'll go ahead and open the, the floor up here for questions. Uh, we have a question here from Mark uh, asking, does Great America finance transactions outside of the United States, specifically the UK and Eurozone, but also elsewhere? Yeah, so great question. Um, I'm going to be a bear of bad news here. We do not offer financing outside of uh, the U.S. and Canada. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Um, Mark, uh, just to chime in just a little bit, uh, like I said, as far as um, QuoteWorks is concerned, we do have a great working relationship with Great America, and that's the only one um, that we really have the real-time capability for. Uh, but you do have the ability to manually add um, your rate cards as well to QuoteWorks, and that'll work in both QuoteWorks Desktop and in QuoteWorks Web. Uh, obviously, though, you will have to manually make any changes as your rate cards change, however. All right. Great question. Uh, any other questions? All right. <laughs> Uh, and I did want to, while we're waiting for other questions, I did want to chime in here and say that uh, in order to integrate with Great America in real time, you will need the real time module for QuoteWorks. And uh, that will work with the professional and corporate editions of QuoteWorks. All right. I know for some of you, this was probably your first introduction to QuoteWorks Web. Um, as you can see, it's really easy to work with. Uh, it's, it, the learning curve really isn't there. It's going to be very similar to, uh, to QuoteWorks Desktop. All right, we've got another question here from Greg. Um, it's a good question here for you, Justin. Um, how do I get set up with Great America? Uh, also a great question, yeah. So if you would like to get set up, is there a way, Brian, that I can put my email um, what we will do is uh, we'll go ahead and send an email to everybody um, with your contact information as well as uh, a, a link to this video as well um, okay that'd be the right way to do it um, and uh, if you want um, it, Greg we'll go ahead and send you an email specifically uh, with Justin's information yeah so once you um, send that email then I will uh, reach out to you, get a little bit more information on where you're at, and then I can introduce you to um, one of the sales reps here on our team that will be able to take care of you and get you set up in our system so we can get you the dealer key and get you quoting. Okay, and so what is the, like if I'm new to Great America, what is the process to get started? Yeah, so we've got a, a fairly simple one page Seats that we essentially will get filled out and then we need to get you approved in our system and then once that's completed then that will sort of help generate the um, back-end information that we need to get you into our system and then we can start getting you a rate card and get you quoting All right. we can also help out with um, sales trainings or anything else that you may need as it relates to offering financing. Great. We've got another person that's interested as well, so we'll definitely send him uh, the information, uh, your information as well, uh, when we're off the call here. Wonderful. All right. Well, I think that's really all the questions. I think a lot of the questions have to do with how to get started with Great America. I think I think that's great for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions about QuoteWorks um, or using the integration with Great America, um, I'm happy to uh, answer those questions for you offline. Uh, you can send an email to support at quoteworks.com. 
I, I will say as well, as far as an integration partner, uh, Great America knows QuiltWorks pretty well. I've always been impressed with that. So uh, Justin knows QuiltWorks pretty well, like you said, uh, knowing the, the little Tetris button there. Uh, so uh, <laughs> if you have any, any questions after this, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, and with that, uh, thank you for uh, joining us today on this short little webinar, introducing you to leasing in QuiltWorks with Great America. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.